I'd like to talk a little about this book. This is a, it's, it's hard to be a significant person in your own life when you sort of be looked upon as the activator or the one who is necessary. And yet I, I see this poem as necessary. I had to do what I had to do. I had to come to terms with that in many different ways because some people are necessary in your, let's say, spiritual DNA coding. Some people just change things completely in your presence. And so when you find someone, this is beyond family bonds, this is beyond, this is superhero bonds, this is superhero connections. There may be someone who just because of their DNA, in their presence, you get a superhero power. But then you're like tied to them. It's like the Incredible Hulk doesn't become the Incredible Hulk unless, you know, Spider-Man's present. Go figure, right? So there's a, and if you're still trying to figure out your superpowers, these cities are, are hard to understand. It's not like the mind, the mind's trying to understand a God power. So the mind could point to it, talk about it, do all its little to mind things, but the actual superpower is very different. And when you tap into your gene keys, when you tap into your DNA, when you tap into your, your higher attributes, there don't seem to be no manual. I mean, gene keys like the closest one I've seen, plus sacred geometry, plus all these other things, but it's doesn't quite tell you how to work this stuff. And so I think Miss Plum activates something in the group field. Again, that's necessary. So I I can't kind of do what I need to do or it's my function unless she's present. Now that, that really changes one's life. It changes how you interact because you got to come to terms with it. Like, like if the Incredible Hulk can only become the Incredible Hulk when Spider-Man's around, like, who the frick is Spider-Man? And how does the Hulk and the, and the get along? Like, are they friends? What do they do? Do they eat together? Or do they just plan when they meet together? That's when the shit happens. So you kind of go from your normal life, dumb, 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 until the time where you're together. And then as a team, you realize, shit, we could do shit. We could get things done. We could, we could. We can do this stuff, but we have to work as a team to do it. And that's the hard part, because it's not like a, a job or a company or organization telling you what to do. It's like you got to learn how to use your superhero powers in the presence of others who are impacted by you. We impact each other. So I may get a superhero power and I may be doing it, but you know, I need help. And if you don't believe in what I'm doing or even know what I'm doing, then you know the teamwork ain't happening that good. But it means there's some shared accountability, there's some shared responsibility. And most of the time we don't want to deal with that. We don't want to we don't want to come to terms with that because it's so different than normal life. It's a problem.